All right, I'm breaking down the strangest places I have covered an event. And some of the names I just mentioned, well, those are all places in Russia. I started with Kazan. Kazan was one of those places that we traveled to for the Men's World Cup, and this was two years ago, where we had been on a plane three out of four nights. We landed in Kazan. It's boiling hot. We've got to go do live hits before one of the Men's World Cup matches, and it is so unique in terms of a location. When you think of all these places, I'd actually been to Russia numerous times. My husband had played professional hockey over there, so I've been to Moscow plenty. But spending about 50 days traveling to the outskirts of Russia was an experience unlike any other. So I mentioned Kazan. Sochi has this unique vibe, which I know many of us are familiar with Sochi from the Olympics. But for me personally, Sochi is actually this vacation town in Russia. You wouldn't realize just how beautiful Sochi is. You've got the ocean, you have all these resort hotels, and we were there in the summer. So there was a moment where we felt like we were almost in the Miami of Russia. Uh, when you're inside the hotel, you really get a sense of that. And it was a cool experience. And then Rajdavandan is a place that not only is it hard to say, but totally different vibe. I just remember our drivers picking us up and feeling like we'd kind of gone back in time in a lot of ways. The hotel situations were not great. Some of those details I will leave out of the mix. We may have changed hotels at times, but in general, just experiencing culture in a different way because Russia is so vast in size. It's so unique in all these places. And then you go to a place like St. Petersburg and it's very much a European city. It has the culture, uh, it has the food, it, it has this sense you're like you're in Europe. And I loved experiencing St. Petersburg. And Moscow has this incredible culture. And ironically, the fact that my husband lived there for three years, I had been there many times, but being a part of Moscow in terms of the Men's World Cup was unique just because I saw it from a different perspective. And I actually like Moscow. I like the Red Square. I encourage people to go see it and experience it. Um, I'm probably not going to go to Rostov and Don again, but, eh, or Kazan, Sochi possibly, you never know. I, I won't ever say never, uh, but experiencing the Men's World Cup and just from the perspective of the men's national team and the U.S. team not being there, I was very much going into this experience, experience not knowing what I was going to expect. Of course, France ended up doing well, going all the way. I speak French, so I was able to get to know this team, do some interviews in French, and I'd say for my career, being in Russia for the Men's World Cup was probably one of the most rewarding experiences of my life so far.